In this video today, we are going to talk about the death of the first home fund and what your alternatives are if you have a low deposit. Coming up in just a second. Hey clan, it's the Bearded Broker from the Stisi Group. On this channel, we discuss all things mortgages and house buying. So if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. And without further ado, we're going to jump into it. So it's most likely that you've discovered this video because you have a low deposit and you are looking for the first home fund. Believe it or not, the first home fund has been used up in the space of eight days. So that's 60 million oversubscribed in the space of eight days. So where does that leave you? There are still some options. I'm sure you will be glad to know. The first one is a 95% mortgage. So who is it for? 95% mortgages are for first time buyers and next time buyers. So there's no real restrictions. At the moment, the government are stepping in and guaranteeing a portion of that mortgage. That doesn't really matter a whole lot to you, but it does benefit you in some ways. So it's available across the UK as a standard 95% mortgage. It's available across the UK as this government-backed version mortgage. Really, the main thing that you need to know is if you have a low deposit, then you can still get on the property ladder. Positives is you still only need a 5% deposit. And with the government-backed version is your credit score can be a little bit lower as well. Negatives is there can be a lot of competition for property. So if you're in an area where competition is high and you only have a small deposit, you cannot put in more money than you've already got. Whereas others may have bigger amounts of money to put in. Okay, so number two is the help to buy scheme. So you may think that the help to buy scheme is non-existent this year. You will be glad to know that as it does still exist, but it exists for the smaller builders only. The main fact about the help to buy scheme is it's for new build only, and also the government will step in and help you out with up to a 15% deposit. You need to fund the rest with a mortgage and a lot about your own deposit as well. And ultimately, it allows you to get yourself on the property ladder using the, the help to buy scheme. The positives are there are no bidding wars with new builds. What I mean by that is if you go to a property that is on the open market to buy, you know, a second hand home if you like, then there may be 10 people interested in that property. That can essentially go to a blind bid. Now with new builds, if you can meet the, the monetary amount that the builder is after, then they'll take that off the market for you. So you're not in a bidding war. The negative really is that the maximum purchase price is £200,000, so you can be limited. Again, the key takeaway for this is that it's a low deposit mortgage and the help to buy scheme is still available for the small developers. Number three is the lift scheme. So this is a low cost incentive for first time buyers. The lift scheme, there are two in operation. I will cover the first one, which is the open market lift scheme, and then I'll cover the second one, which is the new supply scheme. The open market lift scheme is available to first time buyers. It is available to pre-owned homes. So homes that are just on normal open market and not new builds. Essentially, you will get up to 40% from the government. So that will help you with a massive deposit. It is based on your own individual criteria. So we would recommend you speak to an advisor as soon as possible. We also have a blog written on the lift scheme as well, which we will put a link in the description below. So please feel free to check that out. And next, we will move on to some positives and negatives. So the positives is you can buy any property that's on the open market as long as it meets the criteria for lift and also you will have a much bigger choice over and above new builds. 
The negatives about the lift scheme is you cannot go over the certain thresholds that are set by the lift scheme. Again, we'll put a link in the description regarding those thresholds, but it's very, very important that you, you begin to understand these. Again, we can help you if you need some, some assistance with that. The last scheme that I'm going to talk about is the new supply lift scheme. It's almost identical to the open market lift scheme. The difference being is it is for new builds and it's in Scotland only. Positives are there are again no bidding wars because it's new build. If your offer is accepted, you're not warring against others who are putting in higher bids. It's a simple case of if you meet the criteria and you put in the amount that's been requested, then you will be successful. Negatives is the demand can be high and also the stock is very limited as well. Key takeaway is don't discount this at all as a potential option for a low deposit mortgage because there is some choice. Again, you need to be made aware of what is available. So if you need any help, just let us know. So in summary, there are still some options available. If you would like to discuss these more, then please get in touch with us. Our contact details are in the link in the description. And if you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up, please give it a like, please share it with your friends who you think may be interested and subscribe to the channel. We bring out lots of content quite regularly in terms of mortgages, house buying, the house buying process, and we will put some links to our other videos and we'll mention it in the cards as well. So hopefully you found that useful. And if you have, please get in touch. If you want any more advice, then we're here. So it's Ross DC, AKA The Bearded Broker, trusted mortgage experts from the Stacey Group. We'll speak soon.